What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we're playing as Irelia Tapline. Hold on, she's gonna talk over me like a fucking whore. But, um, anyways, I will be against Darius this game. Uh, I'm just gonna chill off on the skills for a second here. I'm gonna start- I can't decide if I want to start with Cloth 5 or Flask and 3 Potions. It's such a hard decision. Um... I'll do flask because it'll pay off for itself soon. I'll just get a flask and then three potions. Run out of base and uh, yeah, we'll do that. As I said, I am a rally of this game. I will be against a Darius in lane. Um, so that shouldn't be too hard. Neither of them really like counter each other by any means. They just kind of, they just kind of go. Uh, and then middle, it'll be Zed versus Cassiopeia. What the heck, I get the hiccups. Excuse me. Um, bot lane will be Janna and Graves versus Graves and Nami. And forgive me for a second if I sound a little weird. It's because I'm still waking up. Uh, it may be, it may be 7:30 p.m. But I uh, I went to bed at like noon. So forgive me if I sound a little weird. Like I said, I'm still waking up. <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyways, and the jungles will be Hecarim versus Nasus or Nasus, Nasus as the Europeans say. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and get my W. And are you gonna start this? Are you gonna start this? Hey, Hecarim. There you go. I didn't want to tank this for you. Alright, well. Well, so I'm losing 100 health from helping him leash. Um, that sucks. It's kind of not what I wanted to do. But, uh, hey, what are, you, what, what are you gonna do about it? He's gonna Q me. Pretty expected. Uh, there's not much I can s really say about it right now. I'm just gonna get a potion ticking. He did start with a ward and one potion instead of three potions and a flask. So, that puts me at a slight advantage right now as far as sustaining goes. But, uh, the reason I'm doing this build is because I really need to sustain until she's like level four or five anyways. Because that's when she starts to actually do damage with her with her W. So, whoop. Uh, I tried to get my Q to get it real fast, but I wasn't, I wasn't able to do it in time. I'm bad. But, let's just keep CSing. Um, whoa, okay, good, I almost missed that one, I almost missed that one from not paying attention, and, uh, let's just see here, he's gonna miss this one right above me, and for some reason he's being, like, really cautious, and by the way, their Nasus jungle is right here, he's right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and just jump over to him, uh, he doesn't have his pole, so I've got really nothing to be worried about, okay, so he ignited me, and I'm not going to die from it, but, uh, I'm going to sit here. I am just going to sit here. Um, I'm going to stay within experience range. Because obviously I can't go last hit right now. But if I can get the experience out of chilling here and get to level 3, if he tries to dive me, I should be able to, uh, outplay him under the turret. And actually, if I can get more last hits off right now, that'll really get my health back up faster from my W's passive. It looks like first blood goes down the bot lane. Well done, guys. Uh, good job. And I'm just going to make sure I'm getting as many of these as I can. Uh, eh. Alright, I'm not strong enough to last hit these just with an auto yet. So I'm just going to be auto queuing them. Uh, whoop. There we go. I'm getting most of these at least. I'm definitely not getting all of them. But I'm getting as many as I can. Um, and I am willing to sacrifice last hits right now to make sure I don't lose uh lose out on the experience war because that's really when you'll start dying why are they trying so hard to dive me i don't understand i really don't understand um there are other lanes i i don't know if he knows that but who knows i'm just gonna chill here because my health is almost full again uh i'm just gonna do some damage to him right now there we go there's some good damage off on him the only problem is, alright, Nasus is bot, or Nasus is mid now, so I'm pretty safe again. This is good. And I'm about 5, so I can actually start really uh, out trading him. Um, but as far as dueling Darius goes, as many of you I'm sure know, um, you don't want to sit here and have long sustained duels with Darius, because that's how you'll actually lose them. Where, uh, where he gets a lot of stacks of his bleed on you. And that's, uh, that's what you want to try to avoid letting happen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep last hitting. Uh, that friggin' 
whatever he did. The gank earlier really kind of sent me back, but I didn't use either of my summoners because I didn't need to. Um, I'm just going to actually, yeah, I've got damage to get that. And I don't have damage to get that one. I'm bad. The thing is right now, though, I am lower health than he is. And uh, right now I just want to farm up and get my items because that's really all I need to do right now. Darius has a really, really strong early game with his uh, with his Q damage. And, um, like, his pull, and then as soon as he hits 6, he gets that huge true damage power spike. So he's just generally annoying to lane against early. Which is why I'm taking this so passively. Because as long as I do, I'll be, uh, I'll be pretty well off. I won't really be in a bad situation. And I'm just popping my W to, uh, make sure I get the, the, uh, regenerating part of my, uh, my W doubled. So that way I can get more health back. Cause I'm actually LCSing him under tower and that's funny. He's currently at 28 where I'm at 36. Which, I mean it's not something to write home about, but it is funny that I am beating him right now. Now if I keep playing him poke me like that, I'm not going to be able to, uh, not going to be able to stay in anything. There we go. He is pushing really, really hard and I'm not exactly sure why. I'm just going to go ahead and stun him. Yeah, there's the pull. I'm not sure why. Um, oh, now he wants to come on. Okay. I'm just going to use my ultimate on the next wave, because if I go in and... No, no, no. We can't We can't try and kill him. No, we can't kill him. Just stop trying. Like, I don't, I don't want to kill him. I just want to pop my ultimate and go back. That's all I want to do. Because right now, um... You can see that he's at full health, and he hasn't had to use any of his uh, any of his flask stuff because there's been no need to. Uh, let's see this thing. We need the Trinity Force. I'm gonna get the Phage. I'm gonna get Ward, and I'm gonna get three potions. This should give me some health and damage, along with that little attack sp or the uh, the movement speed increase, which will be helpful. And then um, I don't know about out trading him right now, but he's definitely should have taken that chance to push. Um. Because if he pushed, I would have lost a lot. But since I'm a rally, I'll get... I'll, I'm actually going to not miss most of these. Because I'm getting to my tower really quickly. Um, let's see here. Boop. I'm just going to do this. As you guys saw, I was able to, um... Kill whatever it was. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just keep up on this guy. And now I'm going to chase him out. I'm not too concerned with taking damage at the moment. Because I know that if we get in a real fight, I will kill him. And I'm not sure if he knows that, um, but we'll find out soon. Let's just pop my W and kill these really quickly. Try and push up to the tower, and as soon as I kill this one, I'm going to go ward. I'm just going to ward this, because Nessus hasn't really... He doesn't really have a lot of good ways to gank other lanes. Like, his gank is literally, you, you use your wither, and then you go get him. There we go. And that will be all the minions down. I'm just going to do some damage to the turret real fast. I have used most of my mana, which honestly isn't really a problem. Um, it's not helpful by any means to not have mana, but if you can get on your tower this fast, uh, it'll, it'll work. It'll be it'll be fine. It looks like you went back and got a giant's belt and boots and a ward, and then what? Did he buy three more potions? Okay, well he bought three potions for some reason. I wasn't even like trying to trade with him or anything, but this guy is gonna be. Rather unkillable by me for a little while. But, oh well. Just farm up, out farm him. I'll be more useful later because Darius doesn't really do a whole lot later. He just sits there and tries to KS people. That's essentially all Darius does. And since he's pushing really hard for whatever reason, I'm just going to accept that as a blessing and let him. Because if he keeps pushing me like that, he won't be able to take advantage of this and kill me. And obviously, since the wave is pushing, like they're gonna have to dive me if they want to kill me. So I'll just sit here and wait, because I guess he doesn't know that I have it warded. All right, is he gonna leave now? Yeah, it looks like he's leaving. I'm just gonna sit here and keep this out in front of my uh, tower so it doesn't die too fast. This is a thing called freezing, where you try and keep a lane in a in a rather favorable area for you, because right now where I am, where I'm holding this lane, I'm pretty safe overall. Um. I, I can get out of a bad trade and things like that. It doesn't really matter what he does to me. I'm just going to stun him and do some damage to him. And I'll just keep the wave right here. I'm going to get my flask ticking, and I'm just going to sit here with it. 
my minions are coming. So as long as I can keep them here, this is fine. And this way of freezing, like tanking it, uh, you can do it pretty well with any champion with a sustained mechanic. Uh, and Irelia has that built in or W. So that's not too bad. He's going to Q or he's not going to Q. Where's he? There it is. I was, I was just waiting for it. Boop, 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 boop. And there we go. He's backing off. No reason to really try and force trades with him. Especially not when I have bleed stacks up. Um, cause I will lose them. I will. If he actually just pulled me, he could probably kill me like 30 times. Or at least I'd really have to try to get out of here. I'm just going to- I'm actually just going to pop my ultimate right here and get some sustain back. Um, the thing with Irelia's ultimate is that you don't really sit there and use it to, uh, to try and really get out of things. And this will be a kill. Boop. Good job, Hackerim. Good job, buddy. That was what I needed to actually be able to get a kill in this lane. Because I'm not able to do it myself. He's just too tanky and I really does health damage, not, um... Not, like, a lot... Well, she does a lot of damage with her W on. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong on that. She does a shit ton of damage with her W on. But when people build health like he did, that's pretty much how you get around it. And now that I pushed her to the tower, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna get a zeal, and I'm gonna get boots, I think. I think, um, maybe, 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 no, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get boots, and then two potions, because this Darius has, like, a real fetish for pushing, I guess, so I'll just keep letting him do that, and then, uh, I shouldn't really need to ward, guys, guys, <laughs> you haven't warded, so you gotta stop him. Whenever Nasus tries to do that at level 6, um, you really need to stop him if you have vision. Mid should have gone down and the jungler should have already been there a little while ago. Um, oh, they got it, I think. Yep, they got it, because no one really did anything to stop them. So there's not much they could really say, I guess. That's kind of what you need to avoid, though. Or need to avoid, excuse me, because if you don't... And look, I told you guys, he's pushing again. So I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna sacrifice that one because I don't want to jump into an unfavorable trade his uh, his Q is level 5 now so I'll be doing a lot more damage to me but he's pushing really hard like I said so not too concerned I'm just gonna keep leveling up my E get that stun duration up or that slow duration I'm not gonna Q that one get myself stuck in all the mains hitting me um, basically what I'm doing right now is safe farming because I'm a pussy when it comes to playing I really until I have my items and that's pretty much what I was trying to avoid but I can actually out-trade him really hard now. Like, really hard. As long as I back off now that I've got the 5 stacks on me, I've actually won this trade. I don't have my Ignite or my Ultimate, but I do have a lot of shit on him. Boop. I'm actually just going to... Oh, I was really hoping I'd get one more hit off on him. <sighs> I went for it. I thought about it at first, and I was like, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I thought I tried for it. Usually, I go for Blade of the Rune King first, um, but I want to try this new Triforce on Aurelia because it's supposed to be really good to rush it and then get Blade of the Rune King. So I'm trying it. But now, um, now he doesn't have his Ignite. That'll be helpful later when I kill him again, because um, I'll have my Ignite before he has his. And now I'm at the point where I can actually do this to him constantly and trade him. And now I've got more potions and my Flask, but uh, I should be good. I should be good. That was kind of a test-ish thing to see how much damage I would do and how much damage he would do. So now I've got a better idea for next time for me. Um, I pretty much did that hoping for the best and expecting the worst, but that's fine. We do have 22 farm on him and the lane is pushing in my direction again. He got ninja tabbies and a chain vest, so he's not going to be doing a whole lot in my... Okay. Is he gonna... There it is. Just gonna do some damage to him. Because even though he has a bunch of armor, I still do a lot of damage to him. I'll just get my flask ticking. And uh, try and get as much CS as I can. As long as I have my flask ticking, this will be totally fine. And when I'm lasting, I obviously keep getting health back. So I'm not too worried. And as long, if I can actually do shorter uh, trades with him, I should be better off. Because it, it may not make a lot of sense for Darius. Because Darius just Q and W's you. Um, but with my current items, it may be better. It may be better. So we'll see. We'll see. Boop. 
He's really not like aggressive at all, so that's good. I'm actually not gonna get baited into this. I'm just gonna ward that. And woo! Boop. Boop. There we go. And that's a pretty much freely one trade because he ran away from me. And now there we go. I'm level 11 and he is level 10. This is where I really need to uh, go in on him. So I'm just going to do this. And I'm just going to go as hard as I can. And this should... Yep, there we go. That... There is a very distinct reason why I did that. And he's going to try and kill me for some reason. If I get him in my mains, I should be good to kill him. He doesn't have mana, so this will be a free kill for me. Yep. Double kill for me. I knew how much damage I would do because he really isn't tanky at all. Uh, so I kind of just waited until I was in my minions to turn around and kill him. And this will... That, that'll that help a lot because now I have another kill and a red buff. Uh, he popped his ghost, but I saw his mana. That's why I wasn't afraid of him, by the way. So, just in case you guys were wondering why I decided to turn, it was literally because I saw that he had no mana. And if Like, if he had mana, I wouldn't have turned probably because he would have popped his ultimate probably killed me maybe maybe I'm just gonna try and push this out as fast as I can boop. and boop. there we go and now I get to go back I should have enough money for my Triforce I do and that'll be helpful uh, I could have stayed and got my tower down but I'm really oh no I don't really want to yet not because it'd be a bad idea but just because I don't really want to now that I've got Triforce uh, I know his ignite will be up before mine, and it should be up in probably about 60 seconds by now. I didn't really time it, but that should be about when it's up. Um, as long as I'm not stupid and trading with him badly, I should be fine. And the reason I had to all in him as soon as I hit 11 was because I knew he was 10 and I was 11. And obviously, as Darius, he gets another power spike when he hits uh, when he hits 11 from his ultimate, and that is why I chose to all in him right there. And it worked. It worked. It worked really well. I'm just going to keep this up. And now that I have Triforce, I am a lot, lot stronger than I used to be. So if he cues me, there it is. Just going to do a bunch of damage to him right here. What the heck are you doing up here? All right, there goes her ultimate. This should be a kill for me. I'm just going to flash out. <clears throat> Apparently she was up here. And they used their ignite on me. Um, let's see here. I'm just going to do a bunch of damage to him like this. There's his flash, <clears throat> and I should, as you can see now that I've got my Triforce, I'm in a much better position. Like, he's actually scared of me now, and uh, he's actually going to die here in a second. So, come here. Boop. And there we go, that's another kill. Um, this is why I was just trying to farm up early. <laughs> this is exactly why I was just trying to farm up early. Because I know that Irelia gets really, really strong after she has items. So... This is exactly what I was going for, and I just did that really out of order. But I'm going to take the tower real fast, get my crystalline flask popping, plopping, popping, and keep pushing. The CS is decent, not perfect by any means. 130 at 18 minutes is not great, but it's not terrible for how safely I was farming. And we're good. Whoop, there we go. And a tip you can use is if you use your W, and then... Um, Use a Q on the range means you just hit it once. And then you can kill it. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Boop. 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 And you're dead. Boop. Oh, oh, there goes his passive. Or his ultimate, I mean. Nasus, no alt. Hi, Darius. Are you going to pull me? Are you going to pull me yet, Darius? There he is. I'm just going to kill him. There we go. I should. What the heck? She's up here again. Uh, I would have been able to get it if it was just him, but uh, Cassiopeia keeps coming up here. And I mean, that's fine on her part, because, you know, she kind of needs to with how much I'm pooping on them. But uh, our, our mid needs to be doing more with it, because he's literally not doing a single thing with her roaming so much. And that's that's when it starts to become not good. But I'm going to get Blade the Rune King now. Um, I can get this, and I can, oh, I, I might just go the damage I really, yeah. I'm not sure. Not sure yet. I can, but at the same time, I almost don't want to. I might just get the merch heads like I pretty much know I should. Their team doesn't have a lot of CC, but it has enough that it would be annoying. And at the same time, I don't really want to. I'm going to get Ninja Tabby. 
and a potion, three or three potions and a ward. I mean, he did take my tower, but this is pretty fine. Uh, I'm out leveling him really hard. I'm level 14, and he's level 12. So as soon as I get up there, he's gonna be dead again. Well, not dead, but he's gonna have a really hard time against me again, cause I've gotten more items and defenses too. So as long as I can just keep this up, actually, I should be pretty good. I'm actually just gonna pop my W and uh, clear out of these waves. I'm gonna use my alt to clear the next wave so that way I can push pretty hard Whoop. okay Whoop. There we go. Uh, level 15 now and actually one of the best ways to win a lane is just experience advantage that's something a lot of people really underestimate uh, is how much an experience advantage can be worth because um, if you get ahead on people you get pretty naturally tanky there we go, and he actually just out-traded me because of that, and Nasus is coming up. Not going to bother constantly doing that. Not going to try and force anything. Because, um... Right now Hecarim's coming up. And he does have that warded now. Let's see. I'm waiting for him to trade me. There we go. That'll stun him now. And I'm just going to slow him. I'm just going to keep up on him. There we go. And now... My teammates are up here. Are you guys coming? Are you guys coming? I'm waiting long enough for them to, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna stun him. Now my teammates are here! Now the party really gets started. This is what I was waiting for. Um, apparently we're not doing a single thing. Anymore. There's Cassiopeia. Darius is dead. And... We can fight this really easily after his, pet, or his ultimate wears off. Because he popped it really early. And now we can fight him. Alright, there's his wither. And whoa! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come on! Come here! I know Cassiopeia is there, but she's not going to be able to kill me. Like she's just not going to be able to kill me at all. Or at least she shouldn't be able to after I do this. Oh, I got ignited! Guys, you have to go in. I know he's low, but they were focusing me. Zed. <laughs> okay, you can't go in one at a time. That's what caused us to lose that so horribly. Zed, you're a huge pussy. Alright, they were focusing me really hard, and that's pretty much what I was waiting for. If Zed just went in, like, they would have been able to do a lot, I think. Because he should, okay, he should have more items than that. He should definitely have more items than that, with that much CS. But whatever. <sighs> whatever. I'm just going to get a dagger now, and work on this. Um, why? She was focusing me. They both were. Whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Because uh, if people are going to pussy out on you, it really doesn't matter what you do. But I'm going to have to, uh... Cassiopeia is becoming a problem. Because now she's 6-1. and one. Um... And that's not really good. Right. Yeah, that's something you really can't do with Zed in general. Uh, he's... Pussying out hardcore now because he gave her a kill. And if you're pussying out with Zed, you're literally, you literally just shouldn't even play Zed. Because then you'll lose. That's just how it goes. I saw Nasus bottom. Uh, I don't know where Cassiopeia is. She's might be up here again. Nope, she's mid. Alright, so now it's just us two. I do have level 16 advantage now on him. Where he, there we go. Just uh, did that. Wait for him. Use my Bork. Well, not my Bork, but my Cutlass active. And just out-trade him horribly. And boop. There we go. I can dive him on the next one, too. Uh, or at least I might be able to. Yeah, I can. Boop. People actually really underestimate Aurelia's damage if you hit all four of her ultimates. Because if you hit all of those, it'll do a lot of damage. It looks like Zed's getting some big kills here. That's going to be a double kill. Though. Yeah. He's dead. But I'm just going to keep pushing. Get my potions ticking. And keep pushing this lane. Because if I can get the inhibitor down up here, that'll be a lot of uh, a lot of pressure off on the other lanes. Because this will apply immense pressure up here. Darius is actually still dead. They're recalling to stop me. Um, so that's good for me. I don't know why I just popped my W to help on this. Whatever. Cassiopeia recalled. I'm going to have to back off here in just a second. Or I could take the tower. Yeah, I'm taking the tower first. There we go. And now I'll back off. Yep, there they are. I got both the towers. That'll be good. Now they have an open inhibitor. Um. 
Oh, hey. All right, whatever. What? I'm actually probably dead. Probably. Yeah, because he's just going to slow me again. Or he's not. Okay. He didn't wither me again. Uh, I think I would have been dead if he withered me again, because the rest of his team would have caught up to me. Whatever. Thank you. Thank you for the free life. But now I can get my uh, Bork, and I'll be a lot, lot stronger. Because you get all the attack speed and um, the sticking potential that it gives. And then you also get the... Uh, the uh the life shred that it does too and that's really helpful like very helpful um because that's what counters i really is high health targets because her true damage only lets her do so much right so when you get you know shit that shreds life it helps a lot more try to keep them down there i'm gonna push for inhib so as long as i can try and keep them down there i'll just keep pushing really hard and as you can see, I'm really not afraid of um, using my ultimate. There's no reason to be. Because as long as I can um, use uh, use it wisely for at least pushing waves and whatnot, it's really only like a 50 second cooldown that I can use constantly. And all five of them are there. So as long as my team can keep them there. Um, oh shit, I just messed up my blade surge. Whatever. It's not a pretty short cooldown, even though I messed it up. Boop, boop. And I still see four of them there. I, see, I don't know where I Cassiopeia went. I think she went back, but I'm just going to get right on the inhibitor. Because <sighs> I can take this really quickly. And if Cassiopeia comes up, I should be able to kill her. I should be able to kill her. Boop. Yep, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. No, you're not. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Get out of here. That's part of the reason I like level advantage, because I know I can kill her. And now I got the inhibitor for free too. Because I killed Cassiopeia, got the shutdown gold, and I got the inhibitor. Now let's see, Darius went back I think. Um, not sure, just going to keep pushing. Because I guess... If they don't send someone back right now, I'm just going to keep pushing. Because, uh, whatever. Who's going to stop me, right? <laughs> all right there we go i already got one of the nexus turrets so now i'm in a really good place is he gonna ghost after me nah he's not going to he's not going to even if he does he'll actually probably die never mind nami's chasing him nami's chasing after him uh let's see here it's gonna run down ward this let's see Boom! There's a free kill off on Nami, maybe? Yep. There we go. Now I should be able to kill this guy, too. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and ignite him. And he did randuins me. But there we go. Boop. Come here. Come here. Come on. Oh, oh. My Bork should be up in just a second. Boop. There we go. Double kill. There we go. Not able to kill me. I'm a beast. And let's go ahead and get some potions ticking right now. Get this wave pushing really hard. And we'll keep going. Ankle red. Sure. I'll take a red. I would love a red. Alright. We need to go back and stop them from pushing. Because they are pushing really, really hard. Guys. Now's not the time to be doing that shit. Alright, hold on. Uh, um, 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 yeah, I'll just get a wit's end. So that'll give me the magic resistance I need versus, uh, Cassiopeia, and it'll also add more damage to me. So, it's generally a good item for me. And then I want, um, oh no. This dude's dead. See ya. And, oh, Zed's going in. If he can stop her somewhat, we should be good. I do have double buffs now. Um, the red will make me really even stickier. And after my Bork is back up, we'll be pretty strong. I'm just gonna kill him. Get out of here, son. Oh, Hecarim's going in? Hecarim, you missed. <laughs> Alright, it's... To me, Hecarim ult is one of those harder things to miss, but he just kind of stopped running before he used it. 
And I'm not sure why. Um, whatever. He tried his best. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. That really wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. There we go. There goes Nami's ult and Nasus's ult from me just doing this. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Killed her. I'm going to go ahead and slow him down. And this will be a kill on him. And I did get hit by this, but I'm out of the turret now as long as I'm careful. Uh, uh, oh, that barrier bait. That barrier bait. I just got baited really hard by the barrier. Graves just killed himself. There we go. And now Darius should be able to die too. Uh, Zed picks up the kill on Darius. That is an ace for us for me dying and diving really hard. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Was he bronze five? I didn't look him up. I have no idea. <laughs> Whatever. I was just doing a sub game. That's all I know. Um, cause every game I record is a sub game. So who knows? Did I take a lot of magic or physical? Lots of physical. Cause I was tanking the turret. I'm gonna work on the randoons just in case we don't actually end. Uh, get the giant's belt and the uh, warden's mail. So that'll help a lot. And as you can see, the amount of pressure that me pushing all the way through top has done, it really opens up a lot, a lot of free things in the other parts of the or in the other lanes. Because as you can see, no one can even go and stop Zed right now because of how many super minions are pushing down their nexus. So, being able to push so hard was really, uh, really helpful overall. It helped us say uh, definitely a lot more than it hurt us. I'm just gonna take the red real fast, and then. Uh, I'll be sticky again. Because I did lose my red when I died, sadly. That kind of sucked. But, oh well. We should be able to take Baron really quickly, too. Uh, we... We can Baron. We can do this right now. Because if they come and try and fight us, we can do it. Or we can, uh... We can stop them, no problem. And they better not smite that. Alright, yeah. Let's just do this real fast. There's really no reason not to. Um, their inhibitor did respawn, so we should probably get that soon. But there's really not a whole lot of reason not to. And, wow, that Hecarim's build is really weak. I think he's just really not tanky for 32 minutes into the game. But, yep, free Baron, just like I thought. And let's go up here and get this. Because if we can get that, um, this should be a super minion wave still. Yeah, we have the super minion wave coming with us still, so that'll be, uh, that'll be a little bit helpful. Just gonna run up here and clear this. There we go. Boop, boop, there we go. On the inhibitor. Fight them on the inhibitor. Right, I shouldn't be the only one in here. Um, there we go. just gonna try to avoid as much damage as I can. I got withered. And if they... Oh, wait. I forgot. Hecarim's not tanky. Let's get this. Let's get that. Alright, there we go. They're initiating team fight. Big three-man bubbles, but no one's going to do anything with it. Wait, does Nami have AP? No, she doesn't. Alright, I need to go in on this Cassiopeia. Alright, never mind. I don't. I'm just going to kill everyone. Um, whoop. Or at least I'm going to kill their tanky people. Or not their tanky people. Get the fuck off. Whoop. Oh, I just stunned a minion. Uh, eh, eh. I can kill him. I can kill him, no problem. Maybe. Eh, 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 eh. Come here. Never mind. I can't kill him right now. I actually think I could have killed him if he came closer to me. But I'm not too concerned. I'm just going to pop my W and attack this tower down. He may have full health, but uh, I will be able to kill him, no problem. Oop. Actually, I might not be able to kill him again. But as long as I can kite him around, I should be fine. Boop, boop. Boop. Yeah, yeah, I can kill him no problem. <laughs> Get out of here, son. Alright, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite. It really lets me out. If you want to, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below. Um, and as always, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!